I'm Robin, and I help survivors recover through an adventurous dream. I'm Robin Benincasa, and I'm the founder and minister of dreams for the Project Athena Foundation. Project Athena happened with a combination of two things. One was my discovering that I had stage four osteoarthritis in both of my hips. I had come from this ultra endurance athletic background, and now I didn't even know whether I was gonna be able to run again. In the process of mentally trying to work through that, I was really inspired by a good friend of mine, Louise Cooper, who was a breast cancer survivor. The way that she got through all of her chemo and radiation was thinking about what her next adventure was. I wasn't going to allow the cancer to take my life. Each morning I'd get up and, what could I do today if it meant that I could only walk 50 yards? That was great. I still had the fire in my belly to do something. And so taking a cue from her, I thought, you know what, that worked for her. I know that's gonna work for me. And I just kind of had this moment of, why don't we do that for other women and help them live an adventurous dream as part of their recovery. We created Project Athena Adventures. Usually it's 10 to 40 people. And twice a year we do a rim to rim to rim trek across the Grand Canyon and back, 45 miles in two days. We do what we call the Florida Keys to Recovery, which is a kayak and bike ride from Key Largo to Key West. That's 120 miles. You name your adventurous dream and we try to come up with it. Something like this, it makes a statement that I'm not just a survivor, I'm living. I've learned you never really know how strong you are until you have to be, just through cancer and then paddling 10 miles or running 10 miles. The other day I rode my road bike 23 miles up the coast. Never done that before and when I finished I felt like a rock star. The neatest thing about it was that I wasn't doing it alone and um, from this I've gained a family. I've had sisters that I've never had before and I get to adventure with them. During the adventures, there's a lot of moments where you're questioning whether you can keep going, and I see that in our Athena's faces. Inside, I'm saying, just wait. When you take that next step that you didn't think you could take, and then it's 100 steps you didn't think you could take, and when you're so far over that line of what you ever understood you were capable of, all of a sudden, they realize, I can do anything. And that's when I just, watch the group and I just get proclaimed. Like to watch them really see themselves like and how amazing they are. That's when I'm like, my work here is done. <laughs>